from Corsham, Jeremy Williams joins us. The, he's the head of the Handshake Institution. Mr. Williams, I welcome you. Thank you. Is it, uh, is it true that the trade relations between Bahrain and Britain are more important than the human rights in Bahrain, according to what international organizations are saying? Yes, well, the trouble with democracy is we can say things openly and we can be rather rude to visiting dignitaries. But, I mean, the whole point about Bahrain from our point of view, from Britain's point of view, is that we've been long-term friends in military terms. I can remember sitting in the Bahrain embassy, uh, in, in, in the British embassy in Bahrain. There were nine navies in port in Bahrain. There were so many airplanes at Maharak that we were running out of concrete to park aircraft on. We need Bahrain. We like Bahrain. We know that King Hamad is doing exceptional things to turn his country around and to address the concerns of his people. But it's a ship. It's a big ship. It's going to take a long time to turn around. And in the meantime, we support what King Hamad is doing. Uh, the, the, this are, are these the values of the UK? If you can't speak a bit slower, please. Okay. We, we, are, we salute the, the protesters, and we know King Hamad is listening and watching and doing his best to bring a difficult situation, which has been there for a long time. All the Khalifa family know about it. They are doing their best to move it in their own style, at their own speed. Well, it is uh, more sensible to have straight talking with a friend, clear, open criticism with a friend, than with an enemy. If King Hamad was not here, perhaps we wouldn't be able to say things to him privately and discreetly. We want to see Bahrain change. This is a matter for Bahrain and the region. It's not for the British to tell or to impose anything on the region. But we would like to see more democratic process in Bahrain. We'd like to see greater representation there. This is what the people of Bahrain want. The majority want it. And King Hamad knows that. And he's moving uh, it as Libya, fast... Britain has, well, contributed to a war on Libya when they wanted. Please stay with us. On Skype, I welcome Saeed al-Shihabi, he's a figure of the opposition of Bahrain. Mr. Shihabi, Bahraini-British ties are strong historically. Britain is stressing to the Al Khalifa family to pursue reforms and it's advisable that they, that they establish this eye contact and keep advising them, as Mr. Jenny Williams has said, rather than having an enemy. It's better to keep a line of communication instead of boycotting that would serve nothing. Thank you. Well, communication is there. The British ambassador is in, is in Manama. Ever since the protests have erupted. We haven't seen anything when Mr. William Hay wanted to release three British who fled from Dubai to Bahrain since uh, two years ago. One phone call was enough to send them on a plane back to London. While we are saying a person like Mr. Mr. Nabil Rajan, an international activist, he is detained and nothing has happened. And I believe that the decision by the Bahrainis, but the Bahraini decision is not a, a, a family decision. It's also to do with the regional powers. Friends to the regime have got something to do with this decision. Britain, for example, have said, Mr. Shehabi, you know that the Queen in Britain does not interfere in in, in political affairs. And this is a historical event occasion, so they have to in, uh, invite their friends. So when, when, when Queen Elizabeth invites King Hammond, why do you have to bring politics into it? Last year, when the King and his son were invited to attend 
Kate and William, William's marriage, it was clear that that's impossible. It was impossible to think that he could be welcomed, and that's why he was asked not to come. And this year, a similar letter could have been sent, and if Britain really uh, was honest, you know, 15, 14, 15 months, nothing has been achieved, they should have at least have informed the king that we, it would be like, uh, it would be not advisable to carry out the visit. And then if he comes and goes and nothing is achieved, it means to me that the British are not serious about what they are claiming, that, that change is being happening. And they know that the Bassione reports, the recommendation, nothing of, of them has been fulfilled. Let's ask Mr. Jeremy Williams here, they put a very good point. Uh, you said the king was asked not to attend the, the Kate and uh, William wedding. Why is, what has changed now? Why has he been invited? Why Mr. Ahmadinejad uh, have been allowed to attend the Olympiads? Is Bahrain more democratic than Iran, Mr. Williams? Uh, no, it is not. But I still think that it's important to engage to engage with people who have power. Uh, this is not our country. We seek to be advisory. We seek to be part of the process that Bahrainis are leading, led by King, King Hamad. I mean, let him do his best to do things. It is a long time that is needed to turn things around. And it's not for the British to start telling people what to do in the Gulf region. I mean, from our point of view, from our selfish point of view, we get two-fifths of our gas through the Straits of Hormuz. We need stability. We need good friends there. We need opportunities to engage there. Zaida Shihabi, the British needs their supplies through the Hormuz, the Strait of Hormuz. It needs stability in the region. What would you say to that? I believe that gas and oil will flow to the West Whatever the situation, look now, Iran, it's not Iran who is declining oil and gas. Well, let me finish the question. So, this is a very weak argument, and Britain, I don't think Britain imports a lot of oil from Bahrain. But he's talking about the, the Strait of Hormuz. Well, the Strait is open. And the oil will continue flowing. And pressurizing the government in Bahrain to release prisoners and undertake reform doesn't have anything to do with, with, with it. We shouldn't exaggerate the issue. This is a, a people in revolt a year and a half. Not a single, not real aspect of change has been achieved. Thank you. Thank you, Saeed Shehabi, the Bahraini opposition figure, and I, Jeremy Williams from Korsham, the director of Handshake Consultancy in the Gulf. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me.